sort of energy weapon are we? Is this we're talking about? I believe it's RF radio frequency energy in the microwave range. A clue that supports this theory was revealed by the National Security Agency in 2014. This NSA statement describes such a weapon as a high-powered microwave system weapon that may have the ability to weaken, intimidate, or kill an enemy over time without leaving evidence. The statement goes on to say, This weapon is designed to bathe a target's living quarters in microwaves. The NSA disclosed this in a workers' compensation case followed by former NSA employee Mike Beck. Seriously? So... So... So no better than, you know, dogs. No better than, you know, so this goes on for extended periods of time. Hold on. Now this is, you know, what, 500 foot from my door? One pole. So you got one pole. And there's the corner pole that I'm not. I'm not going to walk all the way to it. So, you know, it's okay to, for years to, I mean, I got gray in my beard. I'm 40. My daughter's woken up, throwing up. Blew her nose. Blood came out. Multiple. I mean, that went on for a while. And that's the radio frequency booster. So whether the power company put them up for the NSA or the NSA came and just dropped them all in. Not only is it terrifying, but to think that other people helped, took part, Every human being has some sort of rights. Some. They don't deserve to be murdered. They don't deserve to, you know, be tortured on a daily basis. So I guess for people that have these feelings or, you know, go through that, that's what it is. You know, I'm glad 60 Minutes did a piece on it and, you know, brought it out. I really am. I'd have never known, you know, I knew what it was, but I never, I never knew what it was for. <laughs> Well, now I get the high EMF readings, you know, that were in the 8 to 1,000 to 1,200, dizzy, sick, nauseous, falling out, falling down steps, daughter doing the same thing. That's, that's just disheartening to know. That makes me sick to my stomach severely. Sick, scared, because they're everywhere I walk, but nowhere else. Huh. They're not in Baltimore City. Man, no wonder the woods are off limits. They don't want nobody going in the woods to get away from. 
That is mind-blowing. And I can't believe people would take part in that for gifts. I, I, I wonder what God would say if you had to stand in front of him. I wonder what he would say.